Football is a 20th century technological struggle. And what I see was this whole raft of people a setting on these two banks and looking at one another across this pretty little green cow pasture. Football has hitting, clipping, spearing, blocking, punching, late hitting, unnecessary roughness, and personal fouls. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Stanley County Monday Night Football. Charles Curcio alongside Brian Carter, Carter Video Services, and I am here representing, as always, the Stanley News and Press, and we are here tonight at North Stanley High School at our in Jeffrey Stadium, and it's homecoming night as the North Stanley Comets host the South Davidson Wildcats. It's a great sultry night here, Charles. Sultry is a good word yeah, for sultry, it. sultry, you know. Uh, it seems like uh, summer will not go away into that good night. That would be summer. Uh, but it'll pretty soon, people, it'll get football weather. Give it a couple Probably weeks. November. Probably November. We've had those years before. Uh, well, uh, last year, as I, as I recall it, last year it was, we didn't have a cold game until the, the Murphy uh, football, the playoff game up here. Oh yeah, I was wearing shorts the whole time. And there's the, coin, the coin toss. toss right now. Mm. You see your captains out there, Cobb Russell, number three, Drew Little. The North Carolina bound, Drew Little, Cam Davis, number 20. Bailey Baker, the starting quarterback, number 12 out there as well. For North Stanley. And I tell you, Baker was a gr great acquisition for the Comets this year, wasn't he, Charles? He has been, absolutely. And South Davidson is going to uh, get the football to start this game. And going to move left to right. Now, now I think, ladies and gentlemen, we will have the uh, national anthem performed by the North Stanley Band. South Davidson is one of the tallest in the league to receive the ball in the first half. All right, we're going to take a quick timeout. We'll be right back on Stanley County Monday Night Football. Here come the South Davidson Wildcats, coached by Chad Ellington. They are one and five on the season. That one win coming against, I believe it was Trinity High School. In the long series between North Stanley and South Davidson, the Comets come dominated comments. the series. Well, our game is delayed just slightly right now because the band is still on the, <laughs> the field. The band is still on the field, and uh, I don't know if they're going to be part of the, the play of tonight. Uh, Every time I see that, I can still see st uh, Stanford Cal in my head. The band is still on the field! <laughs> but I want, I want to give props to you, Mr. Frank Pullis. Oh, absolutely. Pullis. I mean, that's on a collegiate level, don't you think? I mean, you, the national well, anthem, that was Yeah, you, you can you listen to them perform, and... Um, 
they just year by year turn in just a consistent performance and, and that's what yeah. you want out of a, a, a team program of any kind and, and especially of your band yeah, he's built a great program here number four the kicker is Addison Cord Cord was instrumental this week in North Stanley's two to one penalty kick win in soccer over Albemarle yeah. he had a strained hip flexor we'll see how his leg is now he wasn't doing a lot of kicking in that game yeah. as the uh, goalkeeper of course for North Stanley. Twenty-eight Thomas Ellington, thirty-four Jacob Gordon are deep. North Stanley South Davidson homecoming night. Let's roll. And both Booming of them will just kick. just have a a nice little gander as that ball goes flying into the end zone for one of many touchbacks this season. Yeah, definitely no for that senior. That. And, And you know that there are a lot of um, there are a lot of schools looking at that young man, especially North Carolina and others. He is he is certainly quite special, and can certainly kick on the next level. So it'll be first and ten for South Davidson. The quarterback is number twelve, Jackson Ellington. He's got in the backfield with him 26, Mason Haltem and 44, Seth Gaffings. John, the, here oh, and Gaffings comments. fumbles the ball immediately. Bad exchange. John, Number 50 recovered. picks it up. That would be Dayton Adkins. So a, a bad exchange. I don't think he ever really had possession of the football. Second down. A loss of uh, maybe three. It'll bring up second down and 13. What well, a good job of retaining uh, possession there. Well, Day, uh, Adkins, 6'1", 185 on that offensive line, is having to go up against guys the size of 6'3", 290, C.J. Clark. C.J. Clark, got it. And even, I mean, you know, if you look <laughs> at like Garrett Clark. Fear, fear well, absolutely. <laughs> but even even if you go across that line, Loud, Grayson Louder, 5'11", 245. Garrett Clark, 6'4", 230. I mean, Big just D -line. huge D-line. little option right this time. Bad pitch. Ball is loose, and... Drew Little picks it up at the nine-yard line, and the Comets will take over first and goal with a one minute into this game. Well, the Comets showing their strength early here, Charles. Well, really, they were just Johnny on the spot. You know, they were just just right there, right on top of the situation. Like I said, 53 seconds into this game. And now DJ Roan, a late sub onto the field. Of course, starting quarterback is 12, Bailey Baker, and it's Cam Davis. And Davis to the outside, and Davis is gone. Touchdown, North Stanley Comets. There we go. Seven second scoring drive. That's what happens Fast when you start for the Comets. Take over that deep. Touchdown at number 79, I believe, for Cameron Davis in his career. He is now two behind, if my numbers are correct, he is two behind Antonio Williams for the uh, Comets record for wow. most career rushing touchdowns. Extra point, good by a mile. One minute in, Comets lead, 7 nothing. We'll be back. So we expected kind of a fast start for North Stanley, but uh, seven seconds. But uh, seven start, seconds so. is fast when you when you can take over after that bad pitch, basically. Little with the recovery, and then Cam yeah. Davis Davidson is going to watch on their exchanges. Cord with yet another touchback. something that uh, I think you, you're going to get used to seeing in this game and, and opponents of North Stanley have been have been seeing for uh, mo most of this season and it, it's it cannot be stated I don't think enough Brian how much a kicker like that just having that extra 20 yards and the ability to um, the ability to kick field goals how oh. much that really oh, that's such an asset truly to, does yeah, mean to your team to a team 
First and 10 for the Wildcats now from the 20. Just another weapon in the uh, Comets arsenal. Two in the backfield once again. Ran option right the first time. A little slower snap count this time. He tries Ooh, to pitch. Number 42. And Carter Terry says Carter no. Terry. I'll tell you what, he, he actually thought about pitching it, but he, he, um, he just, yeah, he, Sacked by number 42, number Carter Terry. Do a little shout out to his mother, Bonnie, who's in the uh, stands tonight. She's Actually, he really the ball at the 14, excuse me, so to bring up, what were you saying? I'm sorry. Well, it, his mother, Bonnie, is very proud of him, I'm sure. He's Second really and 16 along. now for the Comets. A defense, actually. South Davidson now, second and 16, and... This is a North Stanley team that... Uh, Brian, if they if they put all three things together in a in a game, oh fumble, fumble. once again this time picked up and, and advanced a little it. bit, but not much, I believe. I think it was recovered by South Davidson. I believe it was number 50 once again. So Haltum on the carry to the 14 puts it on the deck once again. And it brings up third down now and 16. Just under nine minutes, under 10 minutes, excuse me, 940 left. In this opening quarter, Comets already ahead, seven to nothing. No penalty so far. A little room over the left side this time for 44 Gaithings, but not much. not much. He was able to move the pile for a, a yard, literally one yard, and it brings up fourth down and an obvious punting situation. You see a lot of uh, young men with bow ties tonight because of the uh, homecoming festivities. That's right. I think it's bow tie night. Very, very snappy bow ties, I might say. Mm -hmm. 50 will punt this one away. Dayton Adkins, a short punt. Going to go out of bounds around the maybe 35 or so. Now they're going to mark it, excuse me, a little deeper at the 39. So again, excellent field position for the Comets. And let's see what Baker and company have, in plan have plans. Well, North has had one offensive play in this game and it went for a touchdown. Mm -hmm. Now four wide receivers this time on first and 10. Baker's going for it all to L.J. Rush. One-on-one -on -one battle. Nice catch nice. at the three-yard line. Nice. L.J. Rush. And you could, see the, you could see the size advantage he had on 34, Jacob Gordon. Beautiful catch. And that's part of the, of the offensive game for North Stanley that we have talked about that needs to be developing as this season progresses. Mm. D.J. Rohn this time, left side, end zone, touchdown, North Stanley Comets. Touchdown, Comets, number seven, D.J. Rohn. Now, we have a penalty marker down. You, you jinxed us. I uh, know, uh, I need to stop. The clock is, is running for some reason. It should be stopped. Odd reason. It's at 8.17, yeah. but it... Uh, we'll probably put that back on. But there is a penalty marker down. Let's see what this is about. I, I wonder if it might be after. <laughs> Bless you. Unsportsmanlike conduct again, and an ejection against North Stanley. Now, I'd like to know which, which player this is. Oh, what did you see there, Charles? I, I did not see anything. That's why I was. And it might. I'm not trying, just from body language alone, it looks like it might be number 56, J.P. Lucas, but I, I don't know I don't, I didn't see what for a fact about, about that. So, for so please don't quote me on that, anybody, but I, we'll, we'll have to check on that later. I don't know exactly what as the, transpired down there. As you folks can see, the officials are conferring. We're talking to head coach Scott Crisco right now. 
I did not see anything after the play, but I'll be I'll be honest, I wasn't looking at that particular. And I'm sorry, folks, I was sneezing at the time. And you were sneezing oh, time, yeah. so, you know. Long discussion here. Addison Cord will come on for the uh, point after. Yeah, they're going to have to put some time back on that clock, aren't they? for the point after and it is good 803 left opening quarter 14 nothing North Stanley leads I believe I hear the strains of CSI Miami is that not with yeah well, that was perfect timing coming back in, wasn't it? Hey, hey, I love it when the PA provides their own bumper music for us. Fantastic. Wait a minute. See if you get this. Don't you love it when a plan comes together? Oh, like, I don't know that, that uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, that, uh, that's an easy one. That Hannibal Smith, mm. Colonel Smith, Whoa, said that. Line drive into Actor the end George zone. Papard from the A-Team as his catchphrase. You can't beat me on the on that one. I'm sorry. No, I know I can't beat you on that fan. kind of trivia. <laughs> so another kickoff goes into the end zone for a touchback. I'll bring it up to the 20-yard line where the uh, where South Davidson will take over. See if they can get their offense in groove here. Taking as much time as they can off the play clock, I believe. Oh, Using hand signals. Off. And now, oh, oh, quarterback gets out of one, gets away from one, but he doesn't get away from Drew Little. Drew Little had him by the had him by the feet along with um, several others on the play. Loss of three, excuse me, loss of seven will bring up second down and 17. Plays a very slower, sort of casual we version of We Will Rock You. Rock you. Oh, Ooh, high snap. High snap. Tosses it, and it's a touchdown. What a play by Dylan Udy. It was a high snap. I don't, yeah, I'm going to call it an interception return. It's the best thing I could call it. Yeah, it was tipped up. And, and if it wasn't enough off. for North Stanley to score touchdowns with the offense, now the defense cashes in on one. Yeah, it's like a free for all. It was a lateral. The uh, best thing I could call it would be a lateral, I suppose. Now, I haven't seen the cheerleaders doing their, uh, doing their jumping, jumping jacks. jacks yeah. They're going to have a lot to do, I believe. Yeah, the indications. Huh? But you don't know. This is early in the game. You never know what's going to happen. Extra point is good. 7-13 left. Opening quarter, Comets up 21-0. Well, Brian, you wanted to talk about uh, jumping jacks or whatever. I believe oh, you have there, your jumping jacks along oh. with their with the cheer dads as well. <laughs> yeah. That's so right. there you go. Right. You, you you wanted it. You wanted the best. You got the best. I was one of those parents. Into the end zone. And, and yet beyond. Another. And beyond. And beyond. To infinity <laughs> and beyond. And beyond. <laughs> If his nickname became Buzz Lightyear because of that, I'd be, I'd be, that would make me very happy. <laughs> All 
Davidson. And let's see if South Davidson can come close to getting into Comet territory. Well, so far, two turnovers have led to 14 points. It doesn't bode well. And uh, the last one <laughs> immediately led to points. Eye formation this time. Straight up the middle. Wow, what a play by, I believe it was 51. Yeah. C. I think C. it was Grayson Louder. Yeah, of course, C.J. Clark was right there. He ain't getting past C.J. And uh, not for nothing, but Seth Gaithings is not a small kid. He's 5'11", 225 pounds. So, I mean, that's that's, that's not, you know, that that's not a, 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 a tiny youngin by any stretch of the imagination. And mm. right, you know, that time he got hit. C.J. did get in there, but I, thought, I also saw Grayson Louder make a play. To have those two go in the inside of that defensive line, you can just see the the influence that they have on the game. Toss this time, and there's just nowhere to nowhere run. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. C.J. Clark that time, and 51 again, Grayson Louder. And 30, Garrett Clark, number 33, is also in on the tackle. A loss of four brings up third, brings up third down and 15. Yeah, Charles, just a myriad of defensive players you could talk about. Almost too many to mention. Well, for North Stanley, obviously um, on cruise control right now. But there's still a lot of parts of the game I'm sure that Coach Crisco will want to work on. Oh, it looked like a halfback pass, and it is, and it is picked off. No. Cam Davis. Oh, almost. Almost a tip drill gone wrong there. Uh, they, they were almost they were, playing volleyball there. <laughs> they were ready for it. I mean, speaking of volleyball, he was just mentioning, as you probably heard on the PA, North Stanley Volleyball, 14-0. I love volleyball. For more about North Stanley, I wrote a little something for the Stanley News and Press. See that Sunday. Uh, I need they to are, that. They are so. one win or a West Montgomery loss away from clinching the conference. And they are also two wins away from an undefeated mark in conference and I don't I don't know the last time in volleyball and if anyone has that information please share and you the can last read all time about that they it did. in the Stanley News and Press Charles Curcio sports editor we call that a cheap plug in the business <laughs> cheap 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 530 left on the change of possession and I think we have a timeout let's take one and be right back on Stanley County Monday Night Football On Stanley County Monday Night Football, Charles Kersey alongside the, of the Stanley News Press, excuse me, alongside Mr. Brian Carter of Carter Video Services. Glad A little play action it. this time. Baker all day to throw. Now he's going to run with it. 35 he even down I around the 31. He, uh, I think he picked it up the first down. Actually, it's going to bring up, it's a gain of about nine. He's down around the 31, so it'll be <laughs> okay, second I and was one. The announcer had a little bit wrong there. That's all right. <laughs> the silky smooth sounds of soccer head coach Justin Carter tonight, I believe. Yeah, you may be hearing in your television screens, iPads, iPhones, whatever you're watching us on. Thank you, and of course, always our thanks to all the wonderful folks at Stanley Community College to help us bring this game to you tonight. Baker rolls to his right, runs out of real estate, now cuts upfield, has got a first down across the 30, down around a 27. Yeah, great people at uh, college. I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Michelle, Andre, and Mark Sample. Yeah, they've been great to us over the years. This is one of the hottest nights I can ever remember for a homecoming game. It well, is summer will not real, go away. Just sweltering. Davis now makes a move and look at the speed of Cameron Davis just, just beating the entire South Davidson team to the end zone. Touchdown. North Stanley. I'm, I'm sorry, Conference. that was like a walk in the park for Davis, yeah. A 28-yard touchdown. That would be number 80 by my count. 
So we actually may see history tonight. If he scores two times more, that would be the the record for most touchdowns in a career at North Stanley. Yeah. And you know, of course, whose record he'd be breaking. Oh, Mr. Antonio Williams. Mr. Antonio Williams of, of your North Carolina Tar Heels. Well, I'll tell you, he's gonna, if it keeps on like this, he's going to be blowing up your computer, Charles. He really is. Scores extra point, extra point good by a mile. 418 left. Opening quarter. Comments on a roll. 28 nothing. And we're back. And we're back on NCIS. My, no. <laughs> CSI Miami. No, I had the wrong one. And it is uh, 418 to go in the first quarter. Is Comments lead. Are just 20, absolutely rolling. Nothing. Another booming kick and no return. And it will roll into the end zone and be another touchback. <laughs> and South Davidson will take it again at the 20. You know, we have a large crowd tonight, Charles, with the uh, homecoming. Lots no doubt of, about it. And no, lots of loyal Comet fans. Absolutely true. And I'll probably see some of our old classmates tonight. Jumping Jacks. South Davidson does not have a first down in, in this game, and they are in negative yardage. They've just not been able to move the football, but then two turnovers did not help matters either. South Davidson's going to take a quick timeout. We'll be back as well on Stanley County Monday Night Football. on Stanley County, Monday Night Football, Charles Curcio, Stanley News and Press, Brian Carter, Carter Video Services. And let's see what South uh, Davidson will do on offense. Fourth possession throw, and it's incomplete behind Dylan Pate. 12, Jackson Ellington's pass is incomplete, intended for number seven. Dylan Pate brings up second and ten. So the quarterback, number 12, Jackson Ellington, the junior, 5'11", 185 pounds, trying to, uh, 5'10", excuse me, I said that right the first time, 5'. I, I was unable to print, the roster is very small that I printed today. Uh, it's I'm, very, trying, I'm squinting a little bit. It happens with old with my, age. My age, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, your age. Hard to, very hard you're, to say. You're, you're, you're ready for the for, uh, AARP, hey, hey, aren't hey, you? Hey, 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 hey. I got my membership. Throw is over the head this time. I think he was looking for 44 gay things. That'll bring up third down. Blake Todd brings up third and team. Just to give you a little statistical knowledge. North Stanley has five carries for 53 yards. Three of their five carries are touchdowns. <laughs> Baker, one for one for 35 yards. South Davidson has net 28 yards rushing mm. and has not completed a pass through the air 0 for 3. Run off the left side this time was number 24, Damon Hill. 24, Damon Hill. And Hill. Run up the left side. Very little room to run on that side. Yeah, they're trying to different directions of the field, but nothing is working. You know, North Stanley defense, the defensive line is right there on it. Well, North Stanley um, ranked, I believe, still in the top five, maybe even fourth now in the state in 1A, according to MaxPreps.com, yes. Wow, I did not know that, sir. Oh, almost blocked. End over end punt goes sailing out of bounds. Linesman is walking it off still and will stop at the 37. So only a 21 yard, only a 21 yard net punt. As we change hands with 331 left in a very long first quarter, 28 nothing. You're likely going to see North Stanley in this game will go deep into their bench. And surely they will, of course. Here's Davis, and Davis has stopped this time. Nice play that time by number 54, Nathan Martin. Oh, kudos to 54. 
The on, that's the first play tonight that North Stanley did not make positive yardage on. That's not an easy task, stop, stopping Cameron Davis. Fakes it to Davis, now complete to Garrett Clark. Clark, 35, 30. Tripped up, still on his feet, and going to get knocked out of bounds around a 17. That's a gain of 21 yards and a first down. And I think in the future, that's a connection you're going to see more of. Uh, Garrett Clark, you know, 6'4", 220, very athletic tight end for North Stanley. Oh, yeah, big, versatile tight end. And that, that's someone that, that, that I know North wants to get the football to a lot through the air. Two wide receivers to the near side this time. Sort of like a grid. little motion thing. this time. It's Shamar Watkins. Got two blockers in front of him. Watkins trying Shifty to cut to the moves. outside. Still on his feet. Puts his shoulders down. Is he in? Yes, he is. Touchdown, North Stanley Comets. And let's see if they can point after touchdown, see if they can get this, which I'm assuming they will. Extra point is good. 240 left. Opening quarter, 35 nothing Comets. No ACDC there. Very nice. And the Comets are on a roll, 35 to nothing over South Davidson. And this kickoff is actually well, hit, it in, and it's still in live. It's still a live ball. He's going to have to pick it up. Avoids one. Nice cut, and nice, he's got some room nice. to run. 20, 25, 30. Still on his feet. He's got some blockers in front of him. Wow. Nice return out to the 42-yard line. He hesitated about picking it up, but that was uh, apparently the right decision because they got to get some uh, offense going here. Put him in decent field position. So that young man did his job. Well, he, he just naturally assumed it was going to go in, but that's a live football. Mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't assume that that's going to happen. And he actually made a very good play out of what, what would have been disastrous. Absolutely. Wildcats now first and 10 at the 42. One in the backfield this time. And one lined up in a wing formation. Gonna toss it this time. Mm. Oh. Wes Reynolds, uh, excuse me, Cobb Russell, Wes Reynolds leading. What a shot he took, too. Yeah, I heard that helmet to helmet contact. Loss of four. Brings up second down and 14. To say the least, a dominating performance. Carter Terry leads the charge this time as Gaithings goes nowhere. Third down and 16 now. A 
Edwards pass. That's a live football. And now it's a foot race. Cobb Russell picks it up at the 10. Uh, and he goes out of bounds. So he did get it but it'll be a fumble. It will go as a fumble. It's, it's basically like a backwards pass. Not a wise decision. And the Comets will take over. Fifty-one point seven seconds left. Come to the home concession stand, Lauren and North Stanley may get forty-two points before the end of this quarter. Again, Cameron Davis sitting on eighty career touchdowns. One behind. Let me pass this time to LJ Rush. Rush, nice move, 15. Flags fly, still on his feet. Ooh, a hard tackle around the two. But let's see what the penalty marker is for. Let's check that flag, see if it's coming back. Oh, excuse me, that was DJ Roan. I said LJ, but that was actually DJ Roan. And let's see, North Stanley is moving backwards, so this may go against the Comets. It does seem to be. Holding. It's going to be holding against yeah. North. So I'll back him up 10. Holding offense. Mark it back to around the 23. On the spot foul. And only one of, I believe, maybe two penalties in this game. Yeah, rel relatively penalty-free game. Of course, we are just getting out of the first quarter. 30 seconds left in that quarter. Roan makes a few moves, still on his feet. Determined run across the, across the 15. He's going to be close to a first down. I don't believe he's... I don't believe he has it. Oh, and they'll give him uh, two yards on the on the play. And that's the end of the first quarter. Your score, North Stanley 35, South Davidson nothing. We'll be back on Stanley County Monday Night Football. Back on Stanley County Monday Night Football. Comets second and eight. Little pass complete to Russell. Russell to the end zone. Touchdown, North Stanley Comets. To number 33, number three, Cobb Russell for another North Stanley. Touchdown. Forty one to nothing. So would that necessitate the running clock? I don't know if that starts until the second half, to be honest, but we'll, we may be about to find out. It looks like, it looks like South, excuse me, uh, North Stanley's going for two. Okay. And Baker's going to keep it, and he's got all kinds of room. Just does make the corner for the two-point conversion. Untouched, right around the pylon. 43 to nothing. We'll be back on Stanley County Monday Night Football. So we'll try to find out as, as soon as we can, folks, if we, we may, Cord may not be able to kick. He was sort of beat up. Uh, he had a strained hip flexor. This kick is going to go over the head and out of bounds. I didn't see. I think that was L.J. Rush that actually kicked that one. Um, yeah, we're going to have to get a report on that. Listen. You know, we're just talking how key is to this uh, this team.
South Davis will take a roll at 35, first and 10. So with the kick just going out of bounds, Wildcats will take over on the 35. But I think of more concern for North Stanley is the health of its uh, talented kicker. Especially with uh, next week's opponent, the big one, the Highway 52 War. The Five Mile War. The Five Mile War, that's what we call it. We always look forward to that. Damon one. Hill, that time on the ball carry. Get some positive yards. Give him about uh, give him about three yards. It'll bring up second down and seven. Brings up second and six. It's Albemarle North Stanley is what we're talking about, and it'll be at Albemarle. That'll be our first game at uh, home with Albemarle. Yeah, we 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 had planned to do the Albemarle Union Pines game, folks, but because, well, because of, uh, uh, of, Flo, all, of Florence, of Florence, and because of. Um, well, Union Pines couldn't play because they didn't have school on Wednesday. Yeah. Hill for another yard, maybe. I mean, look how the comments, Stephen, they're flying to the ball. Yeah. Bring up a third down and six. But anyway, that's the reason that we were not able to do the Albemarle Union Pines game. If Albemarle is able to add a game, you know, the, the season has been extended, regular season, to November 9th. So I... Not, not speaking out of turn, Brian, but I believe that we could, we would probably possibly. plan to do it, possibly do a game on November 9th at Albemarle. At Albemarle, if Albemarle does get a home date. Mm. Always trying to keep the schedule even, of course. We've changed up our schedule a little tonight being here at North Stanley, but we will be doing the West Stanley game in two weeks against East Montgomery. Hill once again. Uh, nothing doing there. Drew Little and Carter Terry once again. Number 24, David Hill. And this will bring up another guy to be fourth down and five. Drew Little brings up fourth and five. Fourth and nine, and do you go? Fourth and five. Fourth and five. And and, and no, you do not, I don't think. <laughs> yeah. It wouldn't be prudent. Block. Short end over end punt. Cobb Russell. Oh, both he and Roan wanted it. Got Russell blockers. got it. 35, 40, 45. He's got some room in front of him. Down the sideline he goes. He's got the kicker to beat. He will score. Touchdown. North Stanley Comets. There are no penalties on the field. Number three, Cobb Russell with a return and another Comet. Touchdown. A 65 yard punt return by Cobb Russell. I tell you, those cheerleaders are going to get very tired by the end of this evening. With all the jumping jacks, you mm -hmm. need <laughs> he qualified oh, quickly. Yeah. Just saying. That's what you were referring to, I believe. No, of course. <laughs> LJ Rush now for the point after. And there is Addison Court. I see him now on the uh, sideline by the practice net. And before the snap, we have a penalty marker down. And you, to answer your question, we are in running clock as of right now. The clock is Actually, the clock is supposed to stop after um, scores is the only time, and time timeouts. And of course, to change quarters, but. Through mutual agreement, they might have gone ahead and said, let's get the clock running. Now a little confusion here. Wes Reynolds went off and now comes back onto the field. L.J. Rush will attempt this one. Number five, L.J. Rush on to attempt the L.J. Rush, he's a versatile player, isn't he? He certainly is. Offense, defense, and... Ah, blocked. I was about to say special teams, but the ball is... Been, that kick is blocked. So it'll stay 49-0, North Stanley. Eight minutes left, second quarter. Forty-nine to nothing is our score. Under seven minutes left in this first half. L. 
J. Rush will kick off. <laughs> Low end over end kick taken, oh, almost okay. put his knee down, 15 20. December 34, Jacob Gordon, and who, wow, does he get hit hard wow. at the 24. Yeah, Cameron, Cameron Davis in on the tackle. And let's see, what, who do we have in the stands here? I think we have the uh, former quarterback, uh, Mr. Merritt. Hi, Avery Merritt. Yeah, Avery Merritt right down there. You can't miss that hair. It's homecoming. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That's back to us. It's homecoming. Can... Yes, homecoming night. There and is, there a lot is. of folks back. Hey, Avery, how you doing? Wants to throw off the hands. Pass is Good coverage that time by number 14, Joseph Benfield. Dylan Jarrett brings up second and 10. Nine to nothing. North Stanley dominating, dominating, to, to say the very least. But they've got a tough stretch coming up. I think that their schedule is going to get much tougher. Yeah, don't need to rest on your laurels. Oh, nice, nice run, run there. Rams over one player. Jacob, Jacob Gordon. Gordon. Nice run. run. That's a bright spot for the Davids. That's Davidson. the first first down of the game for South Davidson, and their their longest play from scrimmage, 14 yards. Most impressive. They'll mark the ball at the 39. It's actually 15 yards. And he ran over one North Stanley defender. First and 10 for the Wildcats now at the 39. And we have a stoppage of play. And for fly. that, we have a penalty marker, and I believe we may have a false start. I think I think we had too much motion on the – there was two men in motion possibly. Unless North Stanley was off sides, and they were. Yeah. South Stanley at halftime is leading 20 to 0 against North Pole. One of the rare penalties on the night for North Stanley, or against North Stanley, rather. Taking as much of the play clock as you can, as you, as, I, as we can see, down to five. Going to toss it this time. Oh, oh one missed one on. tackle, but Losing Garrett Clark and Cobb Russell will finish. And Dylan Udi is the one that initiated that. Number three, Cobb Russell. Number thirty-three, Garrett Clark. You know the sack. Brings up second and eleven. Second down and 11. Clock continuing to run. 2.40 left. And we will have running clock for our second half. Again, as we said, next week, big game for North Stanley. This is sort of a tune-up for them tonight. Right. You don't want to miss that. Uh, pass over the middle. Down knocked down, down by, by Drew 22. Little. Number 12's pass. Yep. Broken up by number 22, Drew Little. It's a little shout from there, there's a there's a group of about six people in front of us with with number 22 uh, uh, Columbia blue jersey uh, shirts on so that his uh, his fan club family he is as you will you know showing their love and support for that young man. Gonna be third down and eleven. 
So South Davidson finally gets a first down in this game, and they looking to try to get something here. Throws it up third and 11. Couple underneath it, and it's going to be picked off at the 41-yard line by Cooper Hogan. Hogan on the return, going to be down around the 40 or so. I think close, close to 30. Turns it down to the South Davidson 37. So with approximately one minute and 11 seconds left. And we have a penalty against North Stanley. It might have been an illegal block in the back. And we're under a minute here, in the first half. Flag on the play. Ball's marked at the 36. Backup quarterback is in. And it's going to be DJ Roan. Roan straight up the middle. Gets behind his blocker, still on his feet. Look at the speed of DJ Roan. See you later. Touchdown, North Stanley Comets. Number seven, DJ Roan. With a run up the middle for another North Stanley touchdown. And this will be the final play of the first half. They will have to kick the extra point. Make it official. As you hear the clock go off in the background. And LJ Rush will come out to attempt this. Dominating performance too, which is really an understatement, I think even. quality of this football team is very much on display yeah. in this game. And next week's will be even more interesting. Rush's kick is straight down and it's going to be no good. And that's going to end the first half. An absolutely dominating performance by the North Stanley Comets. They finished the first half with 135 yards rushing, 79 yards passing, five rushing touchdowns, one passing, one defensive, and one or two special teams touchdowns. At halftime, North Stanley 55, South Davidson nothing. This is Stanley County Monday Night Football. What am I going to learn? Coursework will develop a student's ability to communicate complex technical issues related to computer hardware and software in a manner that computer users can understand. Coursework includes computer operations and terminology, Microsoft applications, operating systems, database, networking, security, and technical support. What are my career choices? Employment can be found in entry-level positions with businesses, educational systems, and governmental agencies that rely on computer systems to manage information, whether working at a desk or in an IT position. This is a flexible curriculum that can be customized to meet the community's needs for informational technology. What is the purpose of the advisory committee? The advisory committee is comprised of employers and employees from Stanley County. As a vital link between the college and the community, these committee members are important so that we can determine what students need in order to compete successfully in the workplace. Their willingness to meet and share ideas is crucial to the quality and success of our instructional endeavors. Why Stanley Community College? Here at Stanley Community College, we feel that college is not the ultimate destination. It's a place of discovery that equips you with knowledge and skills to journey on to a rewarding, successful future. Call us today to schedule a campus tour or visit us online to learn more. At Stanley Community College, we're changing lives. What am I going to learn? The Network Management Curriculum prepares individuals for employment supporting network infrastructure environments. Students will learn how to use technologies 
to provide reliable transmission and delivery of data, voice, image, and video communications in business, industry, and education. Coursework includes design, installation, configuration, and management of network infrastructure technologies and network operating systems. Emphasis is placed on the implementation and management of network software and the implementation and management of hardware such as switches and routers. What are my career choices? Graduates may find employment and entry-level jobs as local area network managers, network operators, network analysts, and network technicians. Graduates may also be qualified to take certification examinations for various network industry certifications depending on their local program. Why Stanley Community College? Here at Stanley Community College, we feel that college is not the ultimate destination. It's a place of discovery that equips you with knowledge and skills to journey on to a rewarding, successful future. Call us today to schedule a campus tour or visit us online to learn more. At Stanley Community College, we're changing lives. We're back on Stanley County, Monday Night Football, Charles Curcio, Stanley News & Press, Brian Carter, Carter Video Services, 55 to nothing, and we want to send our congratulations to Camille Shelton, this year's homecoming queen, of course, a member of the volleyball team and a member of the softball team that was on the softball team that won the state championship. Oh, very involved student. So congratulations to her and to all the winners tonight. South Davidson will be kicking this football off to start the third quarter. And Charles, we have a capacity crowd here. Still a very, very crowded sideline over here tonight. And a lot of devoted uh, South Davidson fans over, over the way. Made the trip over from Denton. A wonderful restaurant over at Denton is that called Rick's. You ever eaten at Rick's? It's right I've there, heard. right there on the corner. I think I've heard of that. Very yes, yes, yes. Wonderful. Uh, I have eaten there. Yes, yeah. very good. Great ribeye steaks did it. Steaks oh, yeah. uh, deal on Friday. We discovered that uh, my photographer Earl Bradshaw. We drove up for the to cover the Admiral Thomasville game. Of course, it stopped there for a wonderful meal. So. I'm not getting paid for that plug, by the way, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> there was no that payments was completely made or anything. Uh, unsolicited. Yeah. Unsolicited. That's right. unsolicited. Number 24, Damon Hill to kick off. Clock is already running before the kick even starts. Short kick. Anna Barin kick goes through the legs of one. Now bobbled momentarily, still bobbled. Finally picked up. And brought down deep in uh, Comet territory. LJ Rush, there was kind of a, a, li a little confusion about who was actually going to, uh, to get that football. Nonetheless, the Comets will take over first and 10. We did see backup quarterback Luke Shaver was in earlier, but Bailey Baker is back out there now, along with and Cam, now Cam Davis and DJ Roan in the backfield. Again, Davis is one touchdown away from tying and Antonio think, Williams' school record. Do you think they're trying to give him the chance to do that? Well, he's got the chance well, right now. He he's goes. got the football. 20, 25, turns the corner. He's going to run out of real estate this time around the 40-yard line. Ooh, that was close to a horse call. Number 20, Cameron Davis around the left side. Brought down by number 34. No penalties on the play. It'll be down at the 39, a 24-yard gain. And Cameron Davis, he's coming out. He was holding his uh, gluteus maximus. Field is number 28, Christian Barber, along with Garrett Clark, and it's going to be Barber straight Got up the middle. First down and more. One, two, three, spin four, moves, five, five six, three. Spin How many moves. spin moves was that? And at least, at least three. Down to the South Davidson 42. It's 
so into David's, South Davidson territory, the Comets go. Most points that North Stanley has scored happened last week, 66 to nothing. Oh, fumble on the play. Oh, I, I, I'm it. not sure who has it either. I believe South Davidson. They're uh, gesturing. They have the. They did have the football. Oh, Number yeah. 88 with the recovery. That's Dylan Jarrett. Good heads up play. It didn't look like that uh, ever had the ball really. Sort of, sort of a, sort of a bad, um, sort of a bad exchange. We're under the nine-minute mark. Wildcats first and ten, some of their best starting field position at the 42. Hill off the left side, nice open field tackle that time by Grayson Louder from the back side. A loss of three on the play. It'll bring up second down and 13. <laughs> second down and 13 for the Wildcats. Straight up the middle. Uh, maybe a few yards. Number 42 that time. I don't have a 42 on my roster. Uh, I guess each team is going deep into the roster. A gain of two on the play. Third down now, and well, gain of three really, back to the original line of scrimmage, third and 10. <laughs> Throws, and it's picked off at the 45 by uh, Hogan, Hogan, Hogan again. Once, uh, Hogan once again, his second interception. There's also two penalty markers, now three down on the play. Check that penalty. Flag on the play. So Hogan picked it off at the Hogan Comet 45. Flat Sion. It's parked at the moment. It's on the top of the hill. You have double park and are blocking three vehicles in. Please move your vehicle. Return to the South Davidson 40. Now we're waiting to see what the penalty marker is. A lengthy discussion. Actually, there were three flags on the play. Two came down on that illegal block, I believe it was one of those. And then a dead ball foul on sportsmanlike conduct against South Davidson. So if my memory serves, well, the, Ill, the illegal, both penalties will have to be, have to be uh, assessed. So the illegal block will take it back to the North Stanley 43. So we'll go up and down the field here. So it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be a little, uh, a little of that, yes. Now we're going back again. And then unsportsmanlike conduct puts the ball back at around the 42. Correction, first down, North Stanley. Barber straight up the middle, five, maybe six yards to bring up second down. Yeah, it up a little bit. Let's see, Charles, I think we have a homecoming Queens right there in the pitcher. Indeed we do. And again, as we said, congratulations to Camille Shelton. Mm, stopping for a photo op. A 
loss on the play that time. Barber knocked back to the 40. With the ball, with the play. Brings up third down. Four and a half minutes. We are rolling along here. The backup quarterback is in again. This is Luke Shaver. Shaver, a freshman, 5'9", 145 pounds. Davis is in the backfield. They may have trouble getting this one off. The play clock is already at five. Four, three, two. Just does get it off. Davis fumbles it again, and I think he's lost it again. He did. Number 31, Isaiah Ramsey. South Davidson. South Davidson ball. Right at the 40. Three forty one with the clock running. And South Davidson. Two turnovers by North Stanley in this third quarter. And Davis is still down. That's not a good sign. Certainly isn't for North Stanley fans. I was wondering, you very know, I know soft he wants collective to get... hush is kind of Gone yeah. over the crowd. Oh, yeah. Very quiet. I, I mean, I know that he wants to. You want him to get that record if he can, but uh, not expensive. Uh, and getting an injury. So it looks to me, Charles, like they're looking at his ankle. That, now he's getting up. And he is definitely a little gimpy on that ankle, as you said. Undefeated conference season. Well, Charles, wouldn't you say it's about time to take him out? Come out and support these lady comments. I would, I would say definitely if he's, you know, he's having. Walking, he's walking very gingerly, if you can see in the monitor. And obviously you want, you want, you know, him to set that record. You want him to. Uh, First and 10 for the Wildcats at the 40. Clock now runs with 3.30 left in the third. Flag on the play. False start, South Davidson. Brings up first and 15. First and 15, we had some random audio in there, my bad. I was I trying to heard check. some Beatles or it, something. It was something, I don't know, it was an ad of some sort. Mm -hmm. But North Stanley, they have a very tough, three, their last four games is a very tough part of their schedule. 44 that time on the ball carry. Number 44, Seth Gavins. They were down to 225 in the third. Maybe a yard to bring up second down and 14. Anyway, they play at Album. The, the next two weeks for North Stanley, very tough. At Albemarle and at North Rowan. That will be a Albemarle, tough you know, that's going to be tough. That's a county rivalry game, and that's a, the Albemarle, an the especially Bulldogs will definitely be coming rivalry. to play. They'll be definitely coming to play. Pass is complete to the far oh, side, and oh, nice. what a tackle. Pass complete. That was by number... That's buried him. Number 28, Christian Barber in on the tackle. Christian Barber. So the pass was complete, but it actually lost a yard backwards. And I'll bring up third down now and 15. Clock running, 142 left. Number 88. and 15 this time. We'll see if Ellington puts his ball in the air. 
Instead, it's a fake. Nice move. Got away from one. It does oh, not get away. Not get away from number 15. Macaulay, Macaulay Roach. Roach. Yeah. A nice play that time. Number 34, Timmy Fraser. No gain will be fourth down in the final minute of this fourth quarter. Almost, CJ almost blocked that one. Short punt going to land in North Stanley territory around the 45. And that's probably going to be the final play. I believe you're right. We have played three quarters of football here at RN Jeffrey Stadium. Your score, North Stanley 55, South Davidson nothing. We'll be back. North Stanley 55, South we're back on Stanley County, Monday Night Football. Charles Curcio, Brian, uh, Stanley News Impressed, Brian Carter of Carter Video Services. And now we have a penalty marker, and I think North Stanley is going to get a, whist, a flag for illegal substitution, or delay of game, rather. Delay of game, North Stanley. So that'll mark it back to the 40. Have not had a lot of penalties in this game. But anyway, tough two-week stretch for Albemarle at Album at, at for North Stanley, excuse me, at Albemarle, yeah, at North, North Rowan, Rowan, and then the last week of the season at um, South Stanley. And South Stanley much improved as well. And I believe it, yeah, I'm all, is playing North Rowan tonight. Indeed they are. <laughs> Barber this time off the left side. And drugged down from behind by Chance Freeze. Looks like he lost the yard. One of the few plays in this game where North Stanley has lost yardage. Yeah. Second down and 15. And another stop. Nice South play that by time. Number 54, Nathan Martin. I think that was number 24, the, the freshman, Karee Dykes. Third down now and make it 18, actually, 17-18. This time, nice play off the right side. Martin once again. Well, it looks like they're not trying to do anything Barbara too ran. fancy. Martin stopped him. Just uh, run up the middle, run this clock out. So fourth down, and LJ Rush is probably going to punt this football. We have not seen Addison Cord since the second quarter. Yes, you're going uh, to get an update on that injury. And, Maybe I, talk to Co Coach Crisco and see what the, the word is. Actually, Garrett Clark is going to be punting the football, and standing very deep is Thomas Ellington. Freshman is down back around the 20 as the clock runs under nine minutes. Good snap. And we have another Actually, very punt. nice punt. He take, we have a penalty wow. marker, I think, first. Very nice. Certainly has a big leg, and I believe they may have caught it for another delay of game. Delay of game, North yeah. I think North Stanley for the last uh, eight minutes and 40 seconds are going to play very conservative. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, uh, no doubt about it. And yeah. this this game is obviously salted away, and nice kick. 
very booming kick. Wasn't yeah, it? and good coverage that time by the Comets as well. Takes Down a around more the roll. 16. Ball will be placed at the 21 yard line where South Carolina will take over first and 10. Clock running now with eight minutes left to go in this football game. Some interesting results coming from our uh, tonight. We, of course, for all the scores, we'll have stories in both Sundays and Tuesdays, Stanley News and Press. Doing our best to keep high school sports in this county covered. We got you covered, and we're going to keep, keep it that way as well. Formation this time for the Wildcats on first and ten for the fifteen. Another, Another backwards, backwards pass. pass. That's going to be a penalty, right? It's not a penalty. It's, it's just not. a. It's it's a live football if the ball is dropped. All right, correct. Number thirty-three, Garrett Clark, tackle the back brings up second. And Clark made the play. But he loses yards back to the eight. North Stanley well on their way to a shutout here. A defensive shutout, as it were. Nice run this time up the middle by number 24, Hill. It's across the 15, down around the 17. It'll be third down and third and long. Third and about a short, I mean a long eight, more like nine yards, I think. Look at the penetration by the defensive line. Wow. Just absolutely no to right on top of the ball carrier, Gordon. A loss of two on the play under six minutes now. I think that one might have been partially blocked. If not, it was sort of punted rugby style down to the 40. The comments will take over in uh, South Davidson territory again. Next week, as we said, fans, we will be at Albemarle as the Bulldogs and the Comets. I just, I can't tell you how excited the, the county games I get for those. They're all great, but there's something that about Albemarle North special. Stanley that just is, is just a, another level. And I think we'll have a guest for that game. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Dykes this time gets a couple. Gain of maybe one. Brings up second down and nine. Second down and not eight, four minutes left. Up the middle is Barber once again, down around the 36, maybe. I believe you're right. Gain of two, maybe three. Third and five. Contest. 30 
is the quarterback. I don't have that number on my roster, unfortunately. A two-yard loss that time by Barber back to the 37. Now fourth down. Christian Barber brought down to the back. Brings up four and six. Still have three county games left to broadcast, Brian. The county cup is still In very much play. up for grabs. West Stanley, of course, two and one in county games. North Stanley has the one win, of course, over West. Barber pushes the pile forward, but he's going to be well short. And another turnover on downs, this one 240. That'll be a turnover on downs. South Haven's going to take over the 35-yard line. Only a couple of snaps left in this game. We will have a quick post-game show as well. A lot of choices for player of the week. I was about to ask you, Charles. Now, there's a lot, of, a lot of different ways one could go. Do you have any ideas? I always have ideas. Just I not, not tell you, but I have ideas. Just not good ones. Oh, thanks a lot. He's not the best color man in the world for nothing. <laughs> Couple of fakes and now it gives to Hill. Well, Hill breaks room, free. Got some room, got some oh, fumble. Fumbles. And it's picked up by Wes Reynolds at midfield. Ball is fumbled. And the Comets will take over with 150 to go. Take over first and 10. And he fumbles, as you said, to midfield. And Wes Reynolds picks it up. It's like, come on, feel the noise. And the noise is the North Stanley Comets tonight. And they're just trying to run this out. Quarterback and runs right in and running back run into each other. Yeah, a little miscommunication there. So Dykes is going to lose about three yards back to the north 47. Or back to the 45 rather with 45 seconds left. About time for probably one more play. And that should do it, folks. Quarterback will take a knee. And they do not have to run another play. Your final score tonight, North Stanley, 55, South Davidson, nothing. Comets are still undefeated in Yankton Valley Conference play. We'll be at Albemarle next week. We'll be back with the postgame show in just a moment. He's Brian Carter. I am Charles Curcio, and this is Stanley County Monday Night Football. We have the postgame show on Stanley County Monday Night Football with our representative kind of for the defense tonight in the shutout, C.J. Clark. C.J., Obviously, you guys just had the ability to push back that offensive line of South Davidson. Talk a little bit about your team's efforts tonight and really in the last few weeks. I mean, uh, we've been having good practices out of the weeks, running a lot, conditioning, and it's kind of helping us in the game on Fridays. We just have that momentum, and we just keep playing hard. That's, that's kind of helped us. It's always good to get a win, of course, on homecoming night. Um, keeps your momentum going after the last couple of weeks, you know, back-to-back -back shutouts. Tough game next week. You know Albemarle is always going to come in and, right. and play you guys tough. How do you guys keep this going? Oh, we just keep practicing hard, watching a lot of film, and then we just come out and play. Play hard. Play with your heart. Because it's kind of a tough, you know, the, the last four weeks you've got three very tough teams. How do you prepare for, the, for these teams coming up, both mentally and physically? Uh, I say we just... Honestly, we just keep practicing. That's all it really is to it. Practice mm -hmm. a lot. I mean, stay focused. Don't goof off in practice. Just, yeah. just make sure it's 100% every day out of all four days of practice. Just make sure 100%. There you go. C.J. Clark, our player of the week on Stanley County, Monday Night Football. We'll be back.
Back on the postgame show on Stanley County, Monday Night Football with head coach Scott Chris. Coach, obviously a dominating performance for you guys tonight, but what would you say are some of the points that kind of stood out for you for this team? Um, what I've been preaching the last couple weeks, you know, we, we, we got a standard we set now. We want to play to our standard. Mm-hmm. Um, um, offensively and defensively, special teams, and we've done that in the last two weeks. Um, but uh, but uh, the defense has just been smothering the last two weeks, and so I hope they keep that up. And turnovers in turn, turned instantly into points, and I know that's something that you want to continue to do in the future. Right, yeah. Uh, t- turnovers really helped, me, and that's one thing we stressed this week because we didn't get a we didn't get any, I don't think we got one turnover last week, mm-hmm. and so we stressed that this week. We know our defense is doing well, but we got to produce some turnovers. And obviously, the offense gets a lot of credit. You know, it gets a lot of of the the limelight if you will for North Stanley but this defense for North Stanley to make a serious run this this year has got to be solid like they were tonight absolutely and we're going we're, we're going to go as far as our defense takes us and then the offensively just you know you've got there's just so many different weapons and I think that the passing game the more it develops the more the, the more of a threat the run game then becomes absolutely you know LJ's just getting his uh, get his feet under you know he, he missed the first game of the season and he's taking him a while to get back in he's finally getting getting back in uh, looking good um, got a couple other uh, young receivers who's uh, got touches a little bit this week so coach next week the Five Mile War, the Highway 52 War. There's probably 27 different names for it. But uh, what do you anticipate from Albemarle next week? Oh, I believe they're going to they're come out. Uh, I think their defense is a little better than last year, which is that defense is pretty good last year. Yeah. Uh, I think it's going to be a battle. I think, it's again, it's going to come down to turnovers and which offense can score the most. Thank you very much, Coach. Thank you. We'll be back on Stanley County Monday Night Football. So homecoming night goes North Stanley's way, 55 to nothing over South Davidson. Congratulations to the Comets. Also congratulations, of course, to Camille Shelton, who's the homecoming queen for 2018 for North Stanley. Boy, next week's game is going to be a dandy. Albemarle, North Stanley, Brian agrees. It's always a dandy. There's always drama. There's always high levels of competition. I look forward to it every year, I have to admit. it's I can't wait. Next week, I'm all North Stanley. For my partner, Brian Carter, Carter Video Services, I'm Charles Curcio. See you in the Stanley News and Press on the weekend. See you next week at Albemarle. Hashtag Team Tate. Football is a 20th century technological struggle. And what I see people are sitting on these two banks and looking at one another across this pretty little green cow pasture. Football has hitting, clipping, spearing, blocking, punching, late hitting, unnecessary roughness and personal foul.